For many teenagers in California, prom is canceled for the second year in a row, but some parents don't want their kids missing out on another milestone. That's why some parents have come together to throw private proms unaffiliated with the high schools. News 8's Allison Royal explains how communities are getting behind the push for prom. Remember prom? Some parents reached out to their teenager schools to find out whether prom was happening. Some never got a formal response. Others found out that prom was canceled altogether. So some parents in California are taking matters into their own hands and throwing a prom of their own. Like many parents, Melissa Lewis of Elk Grove, California, wanted her daughter to experience prom, but her daughter's school seemed to gloss over the idea because of COVID-19. Then Melissa heard a story about a parent-organized prom in a suburb nearby. Her response? Yes, let's make it a thing, let's do it. 120 parents followed her lead. Then she posted the question on Facebook. If I could manage to throw a senior ball, would anyone be interested? Parents and some students teamed up to give teenagers a prom unaffiliated with the school. A trend we're seeing across California where proms are oftentimes canceled for the second year in a row. 200 teenagers showed up to this parent-run prom. Melissa said while there have been a few critics, the community has been supportive. We have local businesses who have donated food or water. Um, we have a little small town popcorn store in our community and they donated 300 cups of popcorn. So we had a popcorn bar. Yes, some schools across the country are holding official school organized proms, but they oftentimes have restrictions. And just like Footloose, in some cases, no dancing. Melissa required parents to sign a COVID-19 waiver before their teenager attended. I made sure to put in the COVID form, I'm asking kids to bring a mask. I will not enforce the mask wearing. I refuse to police the masks. News 8 reached out to different San Diego County schools to hear their plans for prom or lack thereof. For example, Poway Unified said it will not be having a prom because some of its high schools have more than 600 students. More people than California tier restrictions would allow at a single event, but said there will be other events for seniors that follow state and county guidelines. The Grossmont Union High School District said each school is taking a different approach, with one high school throwing a prom on the football field outdoors and one in the school parking lot. Kids will be required to wear a mask and either get tested for COVID-19 or show proof of vaccination. San Diego Academy is throwing a grom or a combination of graduation and prom. And then there's this. Some local parents from certain schools are even throwing these quote underground proms, tight lipped ones where parents will not release the address or name of the venue until the day of for fear of retaliation. Parents at Mount Carmel and Torrey Pines High Schools are also both planning separate independent proms. Alma Sanchez of Chula Vista's son goes to Castle Park High School. Sanchez took a different approach. It's a smaller event, only about 10 kids, but she said it is the least parents could do. Going to do all the the things that they would have done for prom. I think it's going to be real special for them. We did what we had to do as parents. And if we could invite the full senior class, trust me, we would. Something special for seniors. Honestly, I support any parents trying to do it. Those kids were so happy. So many of them told me that they felt like they had been forgotten. Allison Royal, News 8.